Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by today. In this video, I'll show you some Americana patriotic farmhouse decor DIYs and they're small enough that they can fit on your tiered tray. This is part of an open playlist called God Bless the USA and I'll tell you more about that later in the video. I'm going to be starting with the tray itself. I picked up this, all three pieces glued together at Goodwill for 99 cents. And the same day that I found that, I picked up another plate that was on sale for 40 cents and a Dollar Tree candlestick that was 50 cents. These extra pieces will be added to make it three tiers instead of two. But first I need to paint, since the thrifted candlestick was already painted white, I'm going to go over that with dark blue and I'm going to paint the one that was already glued to the two plates with dark blue as well. First, I'm going to get them all cleaned up and ready for some paint. And I'll use Admiral Blue by Apple Barrel. And I'm going to give those pieces two coats each. Before I put the second coat on the unattached candlestick, I glued a wood block. This is about the same size as what you buy at the Dollar Tree but this is just some scrap spindle pieces that I had. And by gluing that on there, I'll have the bottom tier a little bit taller than the top one. And of course, I painted that with the Admiral Blue paint as well. To paint the clear candlestick, I just laid it on its side and reached in between those plates with my paintbrush. I didn't bother taping it off because acrylic paint comes off these dishes and glass pieces fairly easy with just using either some water on a cloth or some alcohol. And this is how it looks with everything painted and glued together. My Americana Patriotic Tear Drape. There will be plenty of holidays that I can use these colors. For this next DIY, I'm going to use one of these plastic hoops. This is a pack that came from Amazon. And um, I'm just going to be putting my own fabric in there, not using the buffalo check that came with it. The fabric came from... Walmart. Actually, my sister bought this when she was making face masks, and I think the receipt said $4.44 a yard, but I'm going to be using that for my Americana decor, and I like this heart that has the stars at the top, stripes at the bottom, so I'm just going to put that hoop around Putting that middle section behind the piece of cloth, adjustable on the top, and then trimming away all the excess. I glued one of the tumbling tower blocks on the back so it could stand up on the tray. And simple as that, it is done. And I think it's so stinking cute. Let me know in the comments if you would have used a different square on that fabric. As I mentioned before, this is an open playlist called God Bless the USA. It's being hosted by Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun, and the co-hosts are Chantel from Crafty Hints and Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY. I'll be leaving links to all their channels in the description box and there you will also find a link for this playlist. So I hope that you'll go check those out when you're done here. 
For this DIY, I've painted a three-pack of the miniature terracotta pots from Dollar Tree with apple barrel acrylic paint in white. And I've done two heavy coats. What I mean by heavy is I've got some brush strokes showing. And for this particular DIY, I want the brush strokes to show. Normally, I don't. But you'll see why in a minute that I did want those there. Now, with one of the pots, I'm going to paint horizontal admiral blue stripes on there. And then the other two pots, I'm going to do broad stripes with Tuscan red. And then I'm going to turn that paintbrush sideways and do some narrow stripes with the Tuscan red. And I'm not trying to get perfect lines here. The more imperfect, the better, I would say, for this project. Now, I'm dry brushing some antique wax over that white area and see how those brush strokes are coming out looking more rustic as I put more of that antiquing wax on there. I took some styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree and this is the larger ones that come three in a pack I believe and they're just the right size to fit down in there. I'm going to cut them in half and put just a half of the styrofoam ball in the top. Now using some of this reddish color eucalyptus out of my stash, I'm going to cut some little pieces to go into the blue stripe pot, cutting them down to be about an inch or so high. And then I'm going to use cotton bowls in the other two pots that have the Tuscan red color. And I'm going with three in each pot. I really love using eucalyptus and cotton bowls for a farmhouse decor DIY and I thought it went well with this Americana decor. For this DIY I'm going to use some wooden star Christmas ornaments. I'll be painting the two solid ones with the Admiral Blue color. The filigree I'm going to be painting with the Tuscan Red color. And I'm going to leave those pieces of twine and little beads on there. I think they're cute. I think it just adds something else to the project. And like before, I'm not trying to get these perfect. I think the, mo the more imperfect, the better. And it wasn't necessary to paint both sides of these stars. But I thought I'd just go ahead and do that. And then I would have two different looks to choose from. I could just use which one I like the best. And I'm going to be gluing these onto a little plaque that I found on clearance after Valentine's Day at Dollar General. I paid 50 cents for that. And I'm going to be using some paper from Hobby Lobby. I'll be decoupaging that on like so, with more of the white showing. Here I'm just cutting it to size. And any excess I have, after I decoupage it onto the plaque with Mod Podge, I'll end up just sanding away with my sanding block. This is probably one of the best tips that I've ever gotten for getting the excess paper off a project. Now I'm going to put those two blue stars kind of together at the bottom there. Trying to fit them onto the sign as much as possible without a lot of over overhang. And I'll layer that red one on top of those. There I'm just seeing where the corners are going to be touching. Put that on there. And that's all there was to that project. Quick and easy. And I think it looks very Americana. My last DIY is a trash to treasure. I'm going to be using a soup can and a piece of cardboard to make a Uncle Sam top hat. 
I traced the can on to some cardboard and I'm going to cut just a little larger than my circle on there. This is going to make the brim of the top hat like so. And using some more paper from Hobby Lobby, I'm going to do these stripes vertically on the can. That's just a perfect fit for a soup can. It overlaps just slightly. And my idea was to leave the paper on the can because I was thinking that paper to paper would be easier to Mod Podge than paper to tin can. So I just cut it to size with a little excess so I can fold that in on itself. And then it's time to start with the matte Mod Podge. I did a even coat all the way around the can. And then when I had that all on there, I'm going to lay it down and just kind of roll the can up in that paper. Put a little extra Mod Podge on that edge that's going to be overlapped. And the excess at the top, I'm going to split with the scissors, put a little bit of Mod Podge on that paper and roll that in. And it won't stick very well, but um, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be putting something inside the can and it won't even show. So using the Admiral Blue again, I'm going to paint my piece of cardboard. I hot glued the can onto the piece of cardboard. And here I'm just making some fireworks with paper straws from Dollar Tree. I cut them at different lengths and I'm gluing those pieces on skewers, then a little piece of glitter pipe cleaner that looks like a fuse, some squiggly pipe cleaners, a little piece of ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And there's how it looks. Before showing you everything put together, I'd like to remind you to check out the playlist and our host channels. And now here's the final look. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. And until next time, bye-bye.